let's create a health bar in ActionScript. So what we do is begin by drawing a health bar. You can set your favorite color using the fill bucket tool. Use a rectangle tool. I chose no stroke color because I don't want an outline. And then when you right click your actual object, you can convert it to a symbol. And we convert it to a movie clip. So we make it into a movie clip. And then we go to properties and we call that health bar. Okay, once you call this health bar, we're going to go to our code on frame 1, window actions or F9. What we did here is we created a variable. I say variable health, and we'll just make this a number, is equals to 50, and we have variable max health, which is also a number, is equals to 100. But for now, let's just say your health is up both 100. We're, we're all maxed out here. So health bar dot scale x is a property of a movie clip that squishes the movie sideways. So if you say health is equals to health divided by max health, this here is 100 divided by 100 it gives you 1. So the scale x value of 1 is actually uh, not squished whatsoever. So let's press control enter. You can see here that nothing really changed. However, if your health is now at 25%, 25 divided by 100 is 0.25. So when I run it now, you can see it's all squished down to 25%. So here, the idea of a scale x value being 2 means twice as large. So this goes beyond the screen. And if I change this value to 0.1, you can see when I run it, it's very small. This is like 10%. So this is how you create a health bar. And uh, something else to consider here is when you um, want to actually have another kind of border around it, perhaps a different uh, um, background image uh, which has a, a thick black line, you can actually see your health bar shrinking using that formula. But because the, the picture behind it, the, the, the picture that has a stroke remains the same, it looks like your health is actually decreasing uh, in a Street Fighter type way.